Hi, I'm Kelly Ma. I'm the project originator and the chair of the Discovery Walk Steering Group. The project is based on my idea. The original idea was inspired by Writer's Walk in Circular Quay in Sydney Harbour. I've been living in Dundee for 20 years and I noticed that it wasn't really the Dundee way to necessarily shout about yourself or brag about your achievements. Discovery Walk is a really great example of how important it is to talk about the history of the area, the legacy that these people have gifted to the city and to the world. And they had principles and I think that's a wonderful example to give to every generation. I met Suzanne Scott um, through a mutual friend and she felt strongly as I did that we really had to do something important here and we had an opportunity we couldn't afford to miss. I'm an artist and illustrator based in Dundee and I work under the name Whimsical Lush. My involvement was a plaque designer. It's the hugest honour to have been asked to do it. We openly invited people to, to give us their ideas as well and, and any ideas that came forward we, we considered and a few have been really, really helpful. I also met up with Ian Lowe, who is the son of R.D. Lowe. You'll find in their plaque there's a little number plate. The number plate from Urwilly's car tape is actually the same as the number plate that was on the family's car at the time. I met Laura Kilhooley and her, her mum, daughter and the wife of Lacomber, Peter Lacomber. He really enjoyed fishing, he liked being up in the mountains. When you look at his plaque, you'll find a little carp. On the other hand, Spear, who he shares a plaque with, he particularly loved playing the cello. Riley's plaque, his work went on to develop antihistamines. And so I chose to illustrate hay fever, flowers in the corner, going up to the pollen, which then reacted with the mast cells over in the top. Darcy Thompson's, there's a parrot in the bottom corner, which also has a really good story because apparently Darcy was seen walking about Dundee with his pet parrot on his shoulder. <laughs> I've got Geoffrey Dutton. I felt I wanted to capture his love of Scotland, so the mountains and the silver birch trees captured that. We've got Margaret Fairley. Um, we then get the Eiffel Tower. She went over to France, to Paris, to work with Marie Curie, and they studied radium. Mary Ann Baxter, the park that their family left behind is absolutely stunning. She was also very, very important in the founding of the university as it is today, and she also insisted that men and women study together. Ewing developed hysteresis, which led to metal strips on the back of our credit cards and a really grand building in the corner which is positioned in Whitehall and within that building it was Room 40. Room 40 was made famous in the war for code breaking and Ewing directed that room with, with others. After all his serious work he'd be at very fancy meetings and, and dinners with various high powered dignitaries but he got them to draw in his little pig book. I had to include that, so I drew him a pig too. Mary Lily Walker, her plaque of her name, she was also described as the flower of Dundee, the daughter of Dundee, and it was just so fitting. The flower of the city is also a lily. She went on to develop what is now social work, so she helped countless women and children. Discovery Walk will be unveiled, which is really, really exciting. There's a huge ceremony around it. Their family members have given us Dundee and the rest of the world the most amazing gifts so it's only right that their plaques are opened with the grandest ceremony that we can possibly put on for them. The purpose of the opening was to not only bring people together but to make them part of the unveiling and obviously it was quite a task to have all ten plaques unveiled simultaneously and for me I really wanted the relatives to be the first ones to actually see the plaques themselves and to know that we were prioritising them. So I thought of the idea of having different coloured ribbons with medals at the end, which is a commemorative thing that we sourced with a beautiful artist engraver, Joanne McFadgen did the work and they're just stunning. And Suzanne designed those as well. And there was a different colour ribbon for each plaque and they knew to go to that, that velvet material because it had that bow on it and they knew that they would be the first ones to see it. And I think that meant a lot to them that we it was a wonderful way of us showing how much we cared about what they thought, how much of a priority they were on the day. And it just made it so powerful to have the young relation, or the youngest descendants, be the ones that actually pulled the fabric back and, and they got to experience this sort of once in a lifetime opportunity. So it brought a lot of joy to everybody on the committee and everybody on the day. 
The discovery walk unveiling took place in the newly constructed space behind the Caird Hall called Slezer Gardens. And I think it's a wonderful moment that a place named after Mary Slezer is the host of these brilliant people. I think she would have approved. I'm particularly happy that we were able to approach the Lord Provost and ask him to announce the unveiling. I mean, Lord Provost Bob Duncan, he, he knew that this was one moment in Dundee's history and to experience just a wonderful feeling of um, homecoming and reuniting and the atmosphere was just electric. It, it, was, it was just incredible. When I organised the opening ceremony, I was so aware because I had to hunt down all the relatives that they were coming from all over the world and I'm, I knew in my heart I wanted to have the pipers there, I wanted to have the sort of Scottish cakes there and, and, and I wanted to have the gallantry and that sense of homecoming and reunion. And I think they really, it really captured the moment. And the Pipers loved it. They were so glad to, for the first public event in this new space that they got to perform on it. Common message ends, but adventures of discovery never end. Mary Ann Baxter. I think it's fantastic. They've made a very good job of it. I think, yes. Yeah. Really nice. They're looking really lovely. They really do intend. Suzanne Spot did a really good job of decorating them. Very really exciting to see this. And I have won my first time, especially in honour of Darcy Thompson. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> happy. 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 Yeah.